Hi guys, this is Brittany. This is my post for our discussion post, Module 5. I'm dealing with very difficult subject in sexual assault. I wanted to deal with the two questions. One, um, what did we learn? What did we learn? What did I learn you um, from this module? And also what I hope to kind of take away from it. So with this um, module, I was actually very blessed to be going through training kind of simultaneously at Lewisburg College. We're doing Title IX training. We're really getting in um, training for the misconduct board. I'm on the sexual misconduct board as well as the um, general conduct board so I had to have that mandatory training along with CAS training. Um, although I don't interact with students too much as, as some as some of my colleagues do, um, dealing with surveys and everything, I'm kind of more isolated and, and with the administration piece I come into um, kind of other people's spaces to administer the surveys. But I do um, teach once in a while and so I feel like it is a very important thing for me to learn about I'm um, gonna become familiar with so a lot of the um, laws and kind of more general pieces I already knew from that training that I had about last week so it was very recent um, but I think the one piece that I really took away from this is actually seeing the people and seeing the students be so outspoken um, I know the young woman who carried her mattress around was extremely um, powerful for me to see I read I, I think a while back about it happening but I never seen the young woman carrying her mattress around and just seeing people come to help her um, I felt like that was you know, a beautiful, you know, metaphorically and physically helping her carrying around this weight that she has had to deal with. Um, so I felt like that was an extremely um, powerful piece to show, and I really appreciated seeing that and, and getting to see that versus just reading pieces. Um, I felt like it was extremely, you know, needed part of the module. Um, as far as what I'll take away, um, I have really been given this some thought. If a student did come to me, I know my office is more secluded, so they might feel a bit more comfortable if they did know about me um, or know me from class to really share that. We went a bit more in depth um, with the class that I took at Lewisburg College on exactly what to say to them. Um, what might be more appropriate to say, what might make them feel more comfortable. But I really just think through in that situation if a student was, you know, telling me one of the most traumatic experiences of their life, what I would actually say if I remember all that training, you know. Um, so I have tried to be proactive. Um, I've tried to really give myself a list of the resources that they have available to them, not only, um, you know, letting them know that I would have to share, you know, that they had shared something with me with the Title IX coordinator, um, but also keeping a list handy of people that would not have that same um, obligation. So people that they could go to and really, you know, say what was going on um, without having to go through that process at that point in time. So I'm trying to, to keep myself <laughs> as updated as I can um, with what resources we do have available. Um, and also, I've just I've thought through it a lot, and I feel like if a student came to me, you know, being on the sexual misconduct board, I just don't feel like I could be on their particular conduct board hearing. Um, just from the the um, experience of bias, I don't know if I could could go through, you know, hearing their emotional story and being unbiased on the board. Um, but that's just kind of more more so something that I've been thinking about and going through of, of what you know the situation would be like, what I would need to say. Um, I know one piece that I really took away from the training and is always giving the student options, letting them know, you know, through every single step, you know, would you like to take a seat? Um, would you like to walk down to see the Title IX coordinator together? Um, so really just making it more um, all about their choice. Um, so I just, I really love that training. I really love the fact that these modules lined up together, um, although I do hate the, the circumstances of the um, topic. It is a very tough topic um, and is a very you know horrible one to touch on but as we touched on in our training and a little bit in the module um, it's worse I feel like. You feel when you see a institution that says that they've had no reported cases of sexual misconduct. I, we, we went over this in the class like from a from a parent's point of view if you're trying to recruit someone that that seems really great like oh no no cases have been found but um, that's honestly not not a very realistic case um, and so it's actually better to see more not necessarily more but to see that that cases have been reported I mean that people have felt that it was an environment where they were comfortable enough to share that I um, mean so I think really hard about trying to make that a comfortable environment 
Um, I think our institution is doing a very great job at, you know, creating that environment. Um, and so I'm just really trying to think through ways of how to assist that and to make my environment more comfortable for everyone that comes into it. So I hope to hear about what you guys learned as well. Um, hopefully get some insight from you um, too. So I look forward to your posts and thank you for listening. Bye.